Hello everyone, this is Pixela, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Now I believe we done everything there is to do here, so let's continue on to the next planet. <coughs> Excuse me. Which planet should we go to? I believe Planet Rilgar would be a good choice. Yeah. Rilgar, there's... I mean, it looks like we have to find something on... Okay, so we'll go to Rilgar. Just because, why not? I mean, like, when you have characters that just give you information, sometimes that information is useful, sometimes it's something you already know and you're like, eh, whatever. But you know. Okay, um, now, let me tell you, these past couple of weeks, I've just been, I don't know, in a bit of a Nintendo mood. Like... Okay, random announcer guy, okay. So let's see, we have new weapons, we can get the Pixelizer, which I like, it's pretty cool. There's also the Groovitcher one. I'll go with the Pixelizer for now. Okay. We'll get the, um, Groovitron and Mr. Zergon later. Alright. Okay, um, so I, as I was saying before, I've been in a bit of a Nintendo mood lately. And I guess that's because, I don't know, sometimes I'm in the mood for certain games. Like, sometimes I'm in the mood for Nintendo games, sometimes I'm in the mood for PlayStation games. It just depends on your mood and what kind of game you feel like playing. Sometimes you even might feel like playing a classic game from your childhood or something. You know? It depends on your mood. I mean... I still love PlayStation, Go, don't get me wrong. Nintendo and PlayStation, I love both of them. Equally. I... As for Xbox, I never owned an Xbox, I never played an Xbox. And... Plus, they don't have very many exclusives. I probably brought that up in the past, but yeah. I like this weapon, the Pixelizer. It's pretty fun to use. Because you, you can turn your enemies into 16-bit forms. I'm pretty sure it's 16-bit. Mm. From the looks of it, it's 16-bit. Okay. Plus 16-bit is my favorite type of, uh, classic graphics. I like 16-bit from, like, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. I like that kind of graphic for classic games. Plus, a lot of games nowadays that have a 2D form are pretty much in 16-bit. Because they took inspiration from that era, I guess. Makes sense. Heck, I would, too. I would either take the graphic style of a 16-bit Super Nintendo, or maybe the kind of graphics you see on a Game Boy Advance. Because I believe the Game Boy Advance is 32-bit. I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 32-bit. Okay. Just look at this. It's lo now he looks like a tank that you see in, like, I don't know, some other tank game that you see. Which, that reminds me, I've been seeing these random commercials for these games that look like they're apps. Like, it would be World of Tanks, World of... I don't know, anything. Any kind of ship that you have a war of. And it's just... No thank you, sir. I'm not in the mood to buy your game. It just doesn't look like my type of game. And plus, the way you advertise it makes me think of an app for some reason. I don't know. Okay. Now, where do we go? Here. Ha. Huh. Making progress. Still don't have enough, but we can get some. What the? 
Okay, an error has occurred in the following application. What the heck is that all about? Hello? Checking the error status. An error has occurred in the following application. Okay, so just to accounts. Meh. No, wait. No! Get out of here. Do not report. Just let me play my game, darn it. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. Give me a second to get back to where we were, and, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have no idea what that was all about, but let's just continue with this shenanigans. I'm not sure why that happened, because... I take really good care of my games, like the disc and everything, and I don't think the disc was scratched or anything, because I take good care of my games, I'm very sophisticated with my games, I take good care, organize, and everything. So I have no idea what that was all about. Who knows? I mean, I normally don't have errors like that. I mean, sure, there's connection errors when I'm, like, online, like, playing Splatoon or something, but that happens from time to time. But an actual error with a on with an offline game like this it's just ridiculous and i got run over by this tank great okay okay um let's go back to the combustor so yeah who knows what that was all about let's just let bygones be got bygones whatever yeah if it's the last of them or not, it's easy to take them down. No problemo. I like the look of this city. It looks cool. Nice. Like, it looked cool in the original Ratchet and Clank, but here it just looks cool. Like, obviously it's because graphic update, but if you're someone like me who doesn't really care too much about graphics, like, I don't care what era it's from, as long as the game itself is good, I'm good. Like, Pick, like, if I had to do a meme about my, um, opinions on graphics and games, picture a, like, I'm seeing this meme that's been going on ar around where they take Gru from Despicable Me, and they have this, and you know that scene where he's, like, discuss discussing the plan to his boss or whatever in the first Despicable Me? Well, people just take that and just modify it to certain things. Like, here's one for Nintendo, like, or... Maybe other games company? I don't know. Oh, I know. Here's one that I saw about Cartoon Network. It's like, we, um, like, what was it? I don't know. I've seen this meme around Instagram, I think. And it's like, we make new shows, but we still air Teen Titans Go. Our ratings drop. Wait, our ratings drop? That's basically what it's like. If you know the meme, you know what I'm talking about. Um... But I just picture this meme for to describe my um, experience on graphics. Basically, you know that scene where he's like doing the speech to the minions and everything, and he's like, "Am I upset? No, I am not. A little. But here's what I would do. I would be like, "Do I care about the graphics? No, I do not. Okay, maybe just a little. That's basically what it would be like. I'll probably make that into a meme or something." You know what kind of meme I'm talking about. Not a big, successful internet meme. I mean the memes that you just see where people take screenshots from certain shows or games or etc. And they basically just have this quote or just this thing that describes life or something. You know what I mean. It's just memes or memes. Anything can be a meme if you just, you know, anything can be a meme. Okay. Now let's focus on this. <laughs> Mowing down the enemies like it's nothing. Okay, let's switch to the pixelizer. Boop. 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 Droop, droop. Okay, got it. And there's these weird guys, which... I remember them being robots in the original... Um... Ratchet and Clank. They were like... But now they just look like a bunch of dudes in, um, a poison gas mask or something, like, I can't tell if that's a robot or just a normal person in a suit. Who knows? Who knows? 
Okay, what else? What else? I also like the water effects in this. It's like as good as the water effects were when you were using your hover boots in a crack in time over the over that little water in the in the in the uh, valley place. I forget the name of it, but you probably know what I'm talking about if you played the game, because. You know, a crack in time is basically the fan favorite of Ratchet and Blank games. Sort of. Okay. Do we go? Okay, no, that's not an entrance. That's not an entrance. We could. Okay, I'm not. I am not sure what this does. Oh, button. What does that do? Who knows, let's just go over there. That's probably the next location we're supposed to do. Okay. I meant to do this. This hover jump. It's basically the Ratchet and Clank version of the long jump from Mario. That's basically what it is. Okay. Now we're back here. Wait a minute. I think we are meant to go to the hoverboard racetrack, but I can't remember. Where is that located? I guess we'll just go back here and then maybe it'll take us there? Who knows? I normally don't have problems, tr like, going around locations in a game like this. Because this is a reimagining of the first Ratchet and Clank, and I played the first Ratchet and Clank, and I know how it works. Okay, I see. Maybe we go down here and go into this one. That's it. We go here. Let's do that. This gun in Ratchet's hand just looks like a Mega Man pistol. You know what I mean. Okay. Um, just press these buttons and get out of the maze. Easy peasy. <sighs> oh, there you are. Get out of here, you little freak. Okay. Just keep going, just keep going. Going, 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 going. Okay. take down the tank. No problem. The tank is not too bad to take down. It's not that hard at all. Not that hard. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Boop. 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 Alright, alright. Um... Let's still open all this, cause, uh... Like, there's a gold bolt over there. Level up. Good. I kinda miss how the Amiiboys don't say that, um, my thing. Like, in the first game, they say this weird... Hold on. They see this weird thing that's like, bye, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> now there needs to be a way to, oh, I think it's up top. I think you just climb up top and then get to the bolt. Is there a, there's a thing to get up here, I think. Oh, you just jump. Classic platforming. Okay, come on. It's not hard. Just use your platforming skills and jump. Like... There we go. 
Plus the, the music for the atmosphere fits perfectly. I know Insomniac is working on Spider-Man, or they're probably planning a release date soon, because they've been working on Spider-Man for a long time, so it's gotta be released soon. And if I had to guess what game they would work on, they'd probably do another Ratchet and Clank game. And I'm not, and I'm not upset of that, because Ratchet and Clank is like my favorite PlayStation icon, or PlayStation exclusive, whatever. And Gold Bolt. Okay, now we just press this and continue onward. Onward. I didn't mean to press my gun, I meant to just do this. Woo! 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 Okay. Now, I believe we just go to the race. Yeah, congratulations, we got rid of your pests. I like how Clink just does that, he's like, come on, bring it on. Bring it on, boy. Okay. Now we have the race. Hey, I'm Starlene. Are you here for the race? You know it. <laughs> Enthusiasm. I like it. Alright, head inside. The first race starts in a few minutes. Okay. Let's just do the race. Plus, in the original Ratchet and Clank, um, Starlene had this weird, there was this weird glitch of sorts to where if you, um, what do you call it? It's like a glitch to where if you do the backflip jump over and over around her, her boobs would extend and it's kind of inappropriate but also kind of funny. I don't know. And I just fell. Or crashed. I crashed. Oh. Sure I can. I'm a racing master. I grew up with Mario Kart. And I know this is different from Mario Kart, but at the same time it has some similarities. Then again, this is basically a lot like the Spyro races, because Insomniac made Spyro and they made Ratchet and Clank, and it has some similarities to the two. There's like these races in Spyro to where you... I don't know, there's different types of races. There's one with a skateboard, there's one with a... where you just glide. It's basically in Spyro 3. Mm -hmm. And you know what I, you know what music comes into my head whenever I play on this? I just think of the Sonic Riders music. Specifically from Zero Gravity, that one. I just think of that music. I don't know. Just gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Okay, bolt. Thank you. Okay, that race is done. If you heard something, just ignore that. That's nothing. Just, you know. Come back anytime. They're always giving away cool prizes here. Perks are being sponsored by Gadgetron. All right. Okay. We'll uh, stop for now, and of course, we probably have better things to do. Okay, I'll just see you guys later. We'll continue with this next time. Goodbye.